Hey shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Resource Channel. I want to introduce you to my latest project. This is a custom built 6.5 Creedmoor. Now you might be asking yourself, why'd I go down and build a custom 6.5 Creedmoor when there are so many other options out on the market? Well, for one, if I want to really get to that Eric Cortina level accuracy, that sub half MOA accuracy, you're not going to get that in an off the shelf gun. You can buy a custom built rifle, but a lot of those are severely overpriced. So I looked at what it would take to buy the components and build it. And I found it to be the most economical way to get everything that I wanted without sacrificing anything. So I went and did my research. I decided to go with a defiance tenacity action. And one of the key drivers why I went with this Defiance Tenacity Action, there are several barrel companies that make drop-in barrels for it, like Proof Research. So, of course, I have a Proof Research barrel on this, and if I want to change calibers later on, all I have to do is get another drop-in barrel, and there, I'm ready to go. Now, I found on Area419.com, they actually had the Defiance Tenacity Action with the barrel already installed from Proof Research. And then they also threw in an Area 419 muzzle brake. So it was all at a great price point. So I went ahead and executed that to check the box for essentially the action barrel and what I would consider the heart of the rifle. Now, the next thing that I really needed to get was a stock. Uh, stocks can be very expensive. And these days, it's a lot more difficult to choose which stock you want. You can go with a traditional stock some hybrid stocks in between traditional and chassis. And then of course, chassis have become super popular. Now I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to stocks. So I decided to go with the Manners EH series of stocks. Now I did a lot of research on all the different stocks that are available out there. I looked at what a lot of the pro PRS shooters are using and Manners is just one that kept coming up as a performer. Now EH stands for Elite Hunter. This is a super lightweight series of stocks coming in right at 22 ounces, but it's super rugged, stable, and the accuracy has been phenomenal with it. Now, this isn't a stock that you can just buy and throw on your rifle. I had to find the right stock for my rifle, and I also had to specify bottom metal, which I had to buy separately, and that is your trigger guard and your magazine holder. It comes with pillars, and I had to install those pillars and glass bed them along with the bottom metal into place so I could get that really tight custom fit. Plus, I wanted my action not to be really contacting the stock, but sitting right on those pillars. And so the pillars that they give you, you're going to have to cut them and fit them to the stock. All I used was a Dremel and a file, and I was able to get the perfect height for my pillars and fit them perfectly to my action. And once I glass bedded the pillars in the bottom metal in place, then it was time to glass bed the action so that it had that perfect fit with the stock. Now I'm not going to lie to you. There is definitely a lot that goes into this. So if you're not a very technical person, I would recommend taking it to the gunsmith and have them do this work. But I've glass bedded a few stocks in the past, and so I had no problem taking on this. You want to make sure that you're going to use a release agent, or what I use is actually shoe wax, and it, it acts as a release agent, so that you make sure you don't permanently adhere anything to the stock that you don't want to. Once I got all of that done, I cleaned it all up. I had to go in with a Dremel and open up everything where it needed to be, but I came out of it with a very nice, rigid, and stable platform to bolt my action to. And everything came out perfect. I went with the Trigger Tech Diamond Trigger. Their two-stage model. I like the Pro Curve opposed to the Flat Trigger. I know that a lot of different folks have different opinions on that. But this Diamond Trigger from Trigger Tech is fantastic. The first stage is anywhere from 4 to 20 ounces. It's adjustable. And the second stage is anywhere from 4 to 20 ounces. And essentially, that's a stacked weight. So you're going from 8 
to 44 ounces, depending on how you adjust the trigger. So it's fully adjustable. The over travel on this bad boy is sub 10 thou. So that is a very not noticeable over travel. It essentially has no over travel. It comes with a lifetime warranty. It's essentially a bomb proof trigger that a lot of the pros are using. I topped my rifle with my Burris XTR2 5x25. You've seen it in a bunch of other videos. It's just been a solid performer. I've already, I already had it in the arsenal, and after dropping a lot of coin on the rifle, I went ahead and put something on there that I knew would perform. And I couldn't leave the stainless barrel the way it was because I intend to use this thing for hunting. So I went ahead and did a custom rattle can job and I gave it a snakeskin appearance that I thought turned out really good. It was my first time ever doing it, and to do it on something so expensive, it was, uh, it was a little scary at first, but it came out perfect. Now let's get down to the performance of the rifle. This thing performed, I mean, it just performed great. I couldn't have asked for better performance out of the gun. I shot several three-shot and five-shot groups at 100 yards, I shot it at 200, 300 yards, and it consistently performed half MOA or better. For my three shot groups, my total average was 0.45, but I had one of those groups that was a little bit out of character. So when I removed that one group where I had an obvious drop of a shot, it dropped my three shot average to 0.394, which is sub or right at four tenths of an inch, which is perfect. I mean, it is, uh, I couldn't ask for anything better, especially while using virgin brass. So as I shoot this brass, as I play around with my seating depths and things of that nature, I believe this gun will continue to perform at four tenths MOA or better throughout its life until I burn the barrel out. Shooters, I really enjoyed putting this rifle together. And I hope that if you've been thinking about building a custom rifle, this gives you the confidence to go ahead and start buying the components so you can put together your dream rifle with everything you've always wanted. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and take a second. Hit that like and subscribe button, support the channel. And as always, thank you all and God bless.